Welcome everyone to another John of All Games Tutorials. Today is a little bit more of a specific port forwarding tutorial using portforward.com. Just walk you through how you would do it for Minecraft specifically. But you could forward any ports for any game or any application that you may need. So to start, go to portforward.com. It also tells you your external IP or your WAN IP right there. Go to software and get PF static IP right here. And then the download link is this little bit right there, that word. Okay, we're going to download that. What that, that's going to do is just help us get a static IP for our computer instead of going in to control panel and network settings and picking the right and make sure you get this number right, make sure that get the number right. You just download this program. It'll do it for you. Watch when you install it. And there's so many ads on this uh, site. Okay, uh, watch when you install it, though. Hit agree. Next. It's like, please wait. Uh, do custom installation. Uncheck the Ask Toolbar. Unless you want the Ask Toolbar, I don't. So just point that out for you. Hit install. Should take like two seconds to install. Finish. Go run it. Darn ads keep popping up. Okay. Um, port forward. P for port. There it is. Okay. We run that. Uh, let's pick the network adapter you want to manage. Well, it picked the right one for me. So I'm going to hit make it static. It's scanning. It says my recommended IP address is... 192.168.1.50 so write that down at least write down the last part because you should be able to remember the rest of it anyways hit apply apply changes so my internet's probably gonna cut out for a second and then it should come back okay we're back on now and we should have internet back on and you'll see here that it's telling us that our IP is dot fifty there as you can see okay we'll just close that go back to port forward dot Com. Well, go over to your router first and find your router brand and model and write that down. That's pretty specific. There's lots of variations of even the same model router. Sometimes there's version 1.1 and 2.0 and G and L and all this stuff. So make sure you get the right one. What I have, uh, this list is kind of hard to navigate. You can just click on routers there if you want, and then you get an easier to manage list. I have a link sys right there. And then WRT54GL, and mine's version 1.1, but that doesn't come up, doesn't come into effect. Um, and then this is where you choose the game or the app you're using, just so they know what ports to tell you to do. You don't even have to look it up on your own, it'll tell you. Minecraft server, right here. Okay, so here we go. It tells about how you needed to get a static IP first, ask you to try their program. Um, okay, do not skip this step. It'll tell you how to log in to your specific router. That's why you chose it off of the list. I'm already logged into mine, and you'll notice that mine's going to be a little different from these pictures because I got this router because you could put, um, what was it, DDWRT, a control panel firmware on there to do extra functions. But all the options are still there. They just don't look just like this. But your router should look just like you pulled up. Okay, so first it's telling us to log in. It tells you what your default is. If you change that or if maybe your parents or whoever you're living with or whoever you're trying to help change that, you need to get their username and password for that. Most people leave it on the default. That's just the way people are. So go ask them that or just try it. All right. And uh, it says they have the default router passwords if the username and password they show above for you here didn't work, which what are they telling you? Do they actually tell you the password to use? Password now. See, they're not showing you the password, so. Okay. I guess they're assuming you might know. So you probably have to click on this and go look at your default passwords. Okay, see, here's all the models admin and admin. You know, it's, it's a lot of times it's admin and root or root and admin. All right. Okay, so go to security link near the top of the page. It tells me to go to. Well, mine is right here okay it wants us to uncheck block anonymous WAN requests I would say if you want to leave that checked and then try it and see if your server doesn't work because the fact that you forwarded the ports it should still work but for the sake of argument we'll uncheck that okay next thing save the settings okay once you save the settings on every page so we hit save so we don't lose that when we switch pages okay 
Click the Applications and Gaming link near the top of the page, and you sh that should take you to the port range forward or port forwarding section of your router. Well, mine is over here in Administration. Oh, no it's not. I lost it. Nat and QoS. Okay. Port forwarding. Okay, and there's port range forwarding, port triggering, all kinds of other fun things. QoS, which, by the way, if you have QoS on your router, you need to disable that because it is junk. It never works good. It stands for quality of service. It's meant to, like, give applications or computers that are need more internet more and all it does is ever mess up and screw up everyone's connections turn that junk off okay back on task go back to port forwarding or range port range forward as they call it all right now what it tells you to do you only need one entry uh it says minecraft server requires you to forward the following ports 25565 so you enter 25565 there and you enter 25565 there because you're just doing the one port Make sure you click Enable. It doesn't tell me to in the instructions for some reason I noticed. Oh, they do have it grayed out. Okay. Oh, that's weird. This actual drop-down menu there. Okay. Make sure that's clicked. Now you can name it whatever you want, just so you can keep track of it. So, obviously, you would name that Minecraft or Minecraft Server. Protocol, they just say put both, even though it's just TCP you need, but you could put both. Let's do that. For some reason in the video, I forgot to tell you to put your static IP in the box there. So I inserted this, and uh, yeah, you got to put your static IP that you told your computer to have right there in the IP address uh, box for port forwarding in your router. Okay, then continue and hit apply. You're done. Hit save, or you could just hit apply probably anyways, but you want to hit apply so that your router actually does it, because saving it won't do it. There you go, so apply. So you should be able to uh, do it now. You people should be able to connect. Your friends, I mean, should be able to connect to your router. They should be able to connect to your server, rather. Well, they are connecting to your router, but they should be able to get onto your server. They should It should pop up now in their Minecraft game and show that the server is online. And they should be able to connect. So, I mean, that's it. That's all you got to do. You're done, just like it says here. And uh, if you want to test that the port's been properly forwarded, you can use their port checker tool. Or you could just go to uh, Google and type in uh, port checker or, like I have here, ugetsignal.com forward slash tools forward slash open ports. Um, and type in the Minecraft port there, 25565. Hit check. Okay, so I uh, just tried mine with that site I told you to, and that was garbage. Don't do that. And uh, if you go to their port checker tool page and you read about it, they say the reason that theirs works and these online ones don't is because those online ones assume that you have the program open and running and listening for the port and shows it open. Because I got a false that the port was closed when I ran that website. So go here, get their tool, download it, install it, and uncheck the ask toolbar thing if you don't want that. Uh, run it and then type in 25565 TCP hit check me and uh, it'll uh, Windows a pop-up little thing you need to allow access and uh, it does show that it is open and so that is a good thing it all works works great and uh, yeah just forget that thing that I said earlier about using that website you definitely want to get this tool to check your port so now your friends should be able to connect and everything should be good to go see that wasn't really so bad um, uh, I guess I should have done this tutorial a while ago, but I still like Hamachi and Evolve. Those are cool programs, and um, they can just be helpful for making a network, you know, through the through the internet anyways. So, thanks for watching, and again, here are a few uh, other tutorials for you to look at. Uh, this one uh, is the w fastest way to mine diamonds when you're playing survival and you don't want to use mods that just tell you right where they're at. And, you know, you're playing legit or something. And uh, this one on the left is a good server setup video if you don't already have your server up and running. Uh, it's got pre-made batch files, so you just run them and run one until it actually works. And uh, also, uh, check out all my other content. I'll put a link uh, right here for my giveaway announcement videos. They're kind of fun to watch, even if the giveaways are over. But, yes, I do giveaways, and I do them on the live stream usually, and sometimes here on YouTube, but I at least announce them here. And one last thing, if you find that all of this is way too hard and your server, you can't get it running, and even if you could get it running, you don't want to leave your computer on 24-7 so that your friends can mine while you're doing homework, you could rent a server for uh, cheap, like $4.95 a month uh, for up to four people, and same increase in price for every four you want to add after that. Uh, comes with bucket pre-installed, so you can do plugins and all that fun stuff, and then it's on all the time. Check out the link below for uh, the link to that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.